once you're talking to approach, if you already have the ATIS, which of course you should, but if you don't, that's okay. Tell them you're going to go get it, or tell them, you know, tell them we have golf. Request the vigil. That's what they're offering. That's what back, so you want to fly following all the way to your destination? Or so that means he knows that you should uh, look for the airport and we'll tell here, him uh, when it's in sight, with my own. which will let him know that you're ready for the visual. Your, uh, transmission cut out there at the end, again. Yeah, matter of fact, A3, don't need any flight following today, sir. So, uh, we want to be proactive in that regard to cut down on the 20 questions that he's going to ask us. Sure. Like A3, Roger. He don't have the airport yet, I don't. But, uh, uh, service area radar service terminated. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Bruce. Have a great day. Uh, Sorry, I'm having a hard time over here. Let me see if this is that. So if you don't mind, let me turn this uh, down. Yeah, that, turn that you down. Turn, you turn yourself up. Yeah, there. that's fine. I, I got this here. Uh, yep. We're around 20%. Uh, my headset had gotten fiddled lower. Sorry about that. That's all right. I feel like I'm shouting over him. <laughs> I feel like I can't hear him at all over here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're expecting the visual. We had the approach loaded in the event that uh, we need to use it for uh, any number of reasons. Delay our arrival at the runway to accommodate traffic. Uh, but if, if we do what everybody else is doing, that is the visual, we're less likely to uh, be a, uh, that guy today. We won't be in the way. So as long as we can accept the visual safely, uh, that's, that's our plan. Direct Fort Smith with the 25, uh, runway 25 RNAV approach loaded. Uh, and it's the full approach is loaded with the course reversal. And that way we're prepped to do anything we need to do. So if we're, uh, the weather changes, and it won't today, but if, if it were to change, uh, we can uh, quickly activate vectors to final, not the old fashioned way, but by covering the final approach fix, tapping menu, and then enter to activate the leg, and then enter to confirm it. That then activates the leg outside the FAF. And uh, makes that option open to us. If uh, at the last minute we need to hold as published, we can press procedure, activate approach, and that will take us directly to the initial approach fix and sequence us into hold. On the other hand, if we get the visual, we can activate vectors to final, so tap procedure, knob, the large knob, one click counterclockwise gets us to activate vectors to final. That simply draws the line so we uh, have better uh, situational awareness and line up with the correct runway. So we're down to three, and we've been officially told that the airport is 12 o'clock, and that's his way of saying, uh, start to look for the airport, because when you see it, you should tell me, and then I'll assign the visual approach. He can't assign a visual approach, of course, until we have the airport site, which we believe we do. So your choice. Um, so, too, that uh, if we couldn't get it in sight because the visibility was minimum, we'd either fly the approach as published, or we could ask for a contact approach if that were uh, uh, a good thing to do based on everything else that's happening. More about that later. So it is It is that brown spot there. Here. 12 o'clock. Yep. Beyond the first ridge on the right. I actually don't think I have it because I was looking at that over there. All right. Well, be patient then. Yep. It's getting bigger. And again, if, if you're in an unfamiliar area, he can't see the airport for you. So if you don't see the airport... Oh, it's right after it's right here. Yep. Don't, and it's okay if you don't see it, then you can get the approach or ask for the visual, or correction, ask for the contact approach, or the, the RNAV, whichever. 
today we don't need an RNAV, so um, if you don't see it, ask for the contact approach. Approach 597 Kilo, Charlie Airport in sight. November 597 Kilo, Charlie Roger, clear visual approach, runway 25, contact tower 118.3, have a great day. Visual for 25, over to tower 7 Kilo, Charlie, thank November you. November 597 Kilo, Charlie, enforcement tower, runway 25, cleared land, went calm. Clear land 25, 7 Kilo, Charlie. Remember 63 Yankee, extend down when you're following a PA 46. We're going to do a flow. Okay, uh, 63 Yankee, extending down when looking for the traffic. November 220, I make feel right like your traffic. nose is down. Right close traffic, 220. Hotel. Is your nose down for the runway? Yes. So, gear down, come down. So, never bring the power back until you're configured. That's a, that's a, a now, you, now you do need to bring the power back until you're configured. That's a slam dunk for a gear up. Well, we're going to be very careful with that. All right, so now I recommend you do not descend so steeply. And the is if you, uh, if you want to get to the runway, since you put the nose down, you got you got to glide for the runway. You got to go to the runway. Um, if you planned on flying a l nice wide long base, why uh, we should have waited on gear and descent. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, Always, I do. The judgment has to be. Uh, bring you to the runway. November 5, Delta Bravo, contact departure. Departure, good day, 5, Delta Bravo. Are you purposely trying to turn left, or are you driving? No, I'm purposely up? trying to line up, do, do a base to line up. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna line up, but okay. not out there. We're gonna okay. line up over here. Okay. Okay. And the reason is, is, if we line up over there, we won't have the energy at this power setting to make it to the runway. So the decision to descend is what. What helps you? So Yankee traffic to follow 10 o'clock, 3 miles southwest bound, PA 46, 2000. We want to maintain 100 knots until all turns are completed. We've been cleared to land. Um, November 22 hotel, make left 360 We don't want to configure beyond one, uh, one, one notch of flaps. Go ahead. Ease it down a bit and hold your heading. Now you have a better glide. Speed looks good. Like we're turning left. If you just hold your heading, and then when you get to the center line, Yankee traffic, yeah, uh, turn on to it. Base your discretion yeah. on my two five three for the option. Then pitch for it. When it's necessary, slow for it. So here's what it looks like inside. This is working out just fine. Stay pitched for it. Don't. Turn left or right until you get to the center line. So I'm pushing you down a little bit to keep us pitched for the runway. There, nice. Here you come. You're going to have uh, 60 rank. We have the traffic. Any energy to make it to the runway? Six. Uh, I'm sorry. Seven kilo Charlie with traffic sight. Six three Yankee with traffic sight. Perfect. Thank you. Need to keep coming back, or you're going to go through the center line. That's it. Nice. Just like that. 500. Pitch for the runway. All right. Hold the crap till you get there. Keep the wings level. All right. That's it. Pitch for the runway. I'm pushing hard. You're trimming. I'm pushing. Okay. Drifting to the right. Or uh, correction to the left. That's it. Right. Wings level. Left thumb on the trim. Gonna get rid of all that because we're already 20 knots fast. Just slow your rate of descent now with trim. Let's just slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Back to the center line. Remember before you start breaking. Skyhawk, one mile final, 1,200. More brakes and less pullback. Searching for the traffic. Right. So you don't want the those to rise, but you don't want it to compress either. You want seven kilo Charlie, right turn your discretion, Texas Park via Alpha with me. Right turn via Alpha, stand with you, seven kilo Charlie. Taxi speed, turn speed, and away you go. Good job.